Those vegan guys. Oh, thank you. Well, hello there. I'm Paul. I'm Jason. And together we are Those, those Vegan, vegan guys. guys. But if you're a follower of the channel, you probably already know that. This is another one of our shopping vlogs. Uh, we're here at Tesco. Yes. To see what they've got for Veganuary and beyond. Would you like to come shopping with us? Would you? Come on. We're going to start off with the um, ready-made items for lunches. £3 for the meal deal. And these items here are clearly marked vegan. Now, one of the good things about Tesco's is that if you look at their own products, their own brand, so we've got shaving foam and deodorant here, uh, men's stuff, but it says quite clearly suitable for vegans right there uh, and it's pretty much the same with Tesco's own brand we won't show you it all but Tesco's own brand toothpaste um, mouthwash uh, shower gel they do lots of stuff that um, that's clearly marked vegan and it's pretty cheap I mean it's like a pound for um, deodorant so yeah. you know it's good it is good so are you <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really compete with Aldi's, uh, but still, you know, nice prices on some produce. I know quite a few people have mentioned this uh, before. It says vegetarian haggis, but see, it clearly says vegan approved at the bottom there. And uh, Tesco Club card price right now, £2, Karen. So if you're, into, if you're into it, unfortunately it's on a meat aisle, um, but uh, yeah, vegan haggis. I won't keep chattering, we'll put you some lovely music on while we show you this section. Tesco, it says plant-based and vegetarian, right there, supposedly this whole section. So why have you got buffalo chicken pizzas in this section? And the meat metropolis. It's not plant-based or vegetarian, really, really terrible, terrible planning. Anyway, here's some music. Jason, I haven't seen that one before. Nice. Unfortunately, this is at the end of the meat aisle, but still, it's there. I suppose that's what matters. 
I know people don't like me saying corpse aisle, but it is full of dead body parts. Except these bits, they're not. We had someone on one of on our live last night. We're filming this on Saturday, uh, asking about this um, Arbisto gravy. Now the red tub is vegan by ingredient, but what we've also noticed is that Tesco's own uh, vegetable gravy, 70p, and onion gravy, 70p, are both marked suitable for vegans. And then you've got right next door, wicked vegan stuff oh nice and you've got Nooch if you don't know about Nooch it's amazing stuff and you put it in so many things as a vegan and on so many things it's just fabulous and as far as I know Tesco's is one of the only places where you can get the vegan beef style um, oxo cubes I bought some from here last time still not tried them I know we've shown you them before and although they don't say vegan on the pack they are vegan by ingredients uh, these after dinner mints for a pound and they're quite fabulous we like one with a decaf coffee don't you know if you do like a savoury snack, all three of these, salt and pepper, garlic and rosemary, 95p, all clearly marked vegan. Well we've checked most of these biscuits for you guys and the only ones that are clearly marked vegan are the bourbon creams. Um, but when you can get them at, um, where did we go last time? Morrison's for 33p. Yeah. Or uh, Asda, Asda. Asda for 22p or Aldi for 22p. You know, we're still getting some because they're clearly marked vegan. But they're the only ones out of this entire plethora. Can I, my mistake, can I, I'll correct my mistake, there's two. The oh, and the ginger nuts. Well. You used to love them. Yeah, phases. Phases I got through. Hmm. Also in Tesco's, don't forget to check out the free from section. Uh, a lot of this stuff might have egg in it, uh, but it will clearly say so. If it's vegan, it says so on the packet, and that's why you'll find no more chocolate. Right there. They've got a good selection of dried stuff here, of course, you know, red lentils, yellow s uh, split peas, oh, chickpeas. Right, that's fantastic. Oh, Belinda's talking. I'm going to talk over you, Belinda. Thank you. We've just, I've just put one of these in uh, our packet and we also noted. So yeah, lots of rices and grains. And that's really good. And look at this. A little rip, rip off recipe sheet so that you can make vegan tomato curry with coconut chutney that's really really good that is a fantastic price for 500 grams of dried chickpeas £1.15 uh, I paid 4 99 for a kilogram on um, Amazon mind you the Turkish ones the massive fat things just got two packs of these so I continue making my falafel hummus and tuna recipe link above right now 
However, follow up, <laughs> if you go to the world foods aisle, you'll find them even cheaper. So a kilogram of chickpeas there for 2 25 as opposed to £2.30 for the ones I've already picked up. But I'm still going to try them, Jay. In fact, I'm going to get one of them as well. We eat a lot of chickpeas and I'll do a test which ones are really good. Um, almost all core friends. There you go, Jason. Them are the ones we had. Yes. Stunning. Really good. We've just spotted Tesco's have brought out all these uh, plant chef soups. They're all my vegan, aren't they, Jason? Yeah. And the 45p. Smoky lentil and red pepper. Uh, sweet potato and coconut and rich tomato and basil oh and tomato chickpea and aubergine very very good 45p though that's a bargain of course Baxter's are jumping on bandwagon with soups at £1.55 a tin but I suppose if you fancy something a bit more posh you know, Poosh. jackfruit three bean and chipotle, Sri Lankan sweet potato, and butternut squash and lentil dal dal. Very nice. Sorry. Handy for uh, if you're in work and you just fancy something quick in a tub. Got these lovely uh, new wicked pot noodles, and they're a pound club card price. Jason's just uh, grabbed a couple to try at work next week and why the hell not and even more plant milks in the um, long life section uh, a really 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 good selection yes I'm talking very loud because Tesco not only put meat where where it says plant based have some terrible staff members who shout very loudly to each other uh, they also play music very loudly, so we've got to talk over it. Bloody copyright issues. If you don't fancy making your own nan bread, you can get these clay oven bakery. £1.50 for two hand-stretched ones. Garlic and coriander, clearly vegan approved. Uh, but you might want to check up out my um, uh, curry and rice... Uh, Curry and nan bread recipe linked above now because you can make it yourself with vegan yogurt and flour. Dead easy. Tesco's own jams, 75p, clearly marked vegan. So that's pretty good. That's my favourite jam of all time, blackcurrant. Lovely. Not that particular brand, just blackcurrant jam. We usually buy Sainsbury's, but that's good price, 75p. You can still get this here for £3.50. Uh, I've got to be honest with you, we tried it, we weren't that impressed. Definitely not for that price. If you're a wine drinker, it's got to be said, Tesco's is not bad at all. For vegan wines, the Shiraz and Merlot there are both vegan. Um, can we show where it says it, Jason? It's tiny. It's really tiny. Can you see that there? There you go. That's it. Uh, so do check, and it's the same with white wines. There's quite a lot of them vegan. So if you're a drinker, check it out. Look at her, checking them all. <laughs> Picky bits, darling, for a party? Maybe for a party? Picky bits? Ooh, ooh, I say.
quite a nice selection of ice creams, including the kind of big brand vegan ones. Um, Ortley ice creams. The uh, Ben and Jerry's vegan versions. And of course the classic Swedish glacé, which is fabulous. And even uh, Tesco to jump in there. Vanilla, mint choc chip and chocolate ice cream, all vegan and two quid. And of course the vegan uh, magnums up there. Marvellous. See, even though we like doing shopping vlogs for you guys to show you all the stuff, this is what we're leaving with. Just this. No tells. Aren't we good boys? A few moments later. Oh. <sighs> so there you go. Tesco. Um, we said we might do Iceland this weekend as well, but... We may do. We may do. We might end up doing that tomorrow and just having a quick look. I don't think there'll be much to show. We never rule anything out. We're also going to get the co-op in before the end of the month as well. Definitely the co-op, uh, because it's one of the best for uh, personal and household products as well as food. So they don't have as big a range on food, but the, the fact that so many things are marked vegan. Uh, being in here today with all the biscuits, Whip it. Why is there milk in this? Yes. It, it just comes to mind. It's when you go to Asda, it was, that had all the biscuits. That were all vegan. That most of them were labelled vegan. Why not here? Why not Sainsbury's? Why not? It's like if biscuits can be made, if everything can be made without animal produce, don't put it in there. Yeah. It's really simple. Anyway. We've given you a good look round Tesco's. Excuse my um, anger, but there was a staff woman who was talking to another guy who was stacking shelves. Oh, yeah. She was leaned on the plant-based section. Yeah, and I said, anyway, I think she's in that department now. And I was stood right there, and I thought, I'm not saying anything. Read the room, Belinda. Read the bleeding room. There's a customer stood right here wanting to look at the section you're stood in front of. She never moved a muscle. Now, that, to me, shows a lack of um, training. Blinkered to the customers. But it's, it's Tesco's fault. It's not her. Teach your staff to be conscientious of people and to read the room. Read the... We have more problems with rude, belligerent staff in Tesco. Well, Lidl takes the biscuit for that. But Tesco as well. Every time without fail. Every single time. And it's got to change. I'm in there spending money. If I was a staff member, customers are my first priority. There's a distinct difference in uh, customer service and uh, customer awareness mm -hmm. uh, consistently when you go to most other supermarkets, yeah. it's fair to say. However... Some lovely people in here who we know well who always say hello. Yeah, I will say the feather in the cap for um, Tesco's as well is they're actually um, using some of the labelling to actually encourage people to try stuff new for Veganuary. Why not try this for Veganuary? They had a lovely little... Um, I don't know whether Paul picked it up on uh, when he was doing one of his um, his sweeping shots. Um, if he has, I'll put an arrow to it. There was a little suggestion recipe thing for a tomato and coconut curry for Veganuary. No, was I like did. A, it was a little thing that you could rip off and no, take home with you. Yeah, I did it. Fabulous. I did it. You don't know I did it. I did it. You've already seen it. Well, it's been a role reversal for us. <laughs> I don't film in the supermarkets anymore. I used to do all the filming. You did. And now I do not. I used to just hold things up and say, look at me and this. Ninjas. Anyway, we'll get home, get this edited and get it up and hopefully some of you will find it really helpful. Um, there's a great range of stuff in Tesco, like in most supermarkets now. And uh, we're happy to have shown you. Love you, mister. Love you. Love you guys. We'll see you again very soon. Until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Bye, loves. Mm -hmm.